The earth is groaning as it waits, longing for the coming day. When I need to be ready, grant to me the grace I need to live a life. Found worthy in the end. Violently, I will seek, cause wisdom is justified in. Paul tells us to pray continually. And I think the question that we need to seriously ask ourselves is, do we take that literally? You know, like what if we actually took this idea of praying continually, literally? Um, here at ASU, we've been doing um, days of prayer, nonstop, unbroken, 24-hour prayer. And it's it's, it's, it's a direct mandate from the Lord. You know, this, this idea of 24-hour prayer, I don't believe it was conjured up by a man. I don't believe it was conjured up by an organization. You know, you can, you can say it's just a new fad or whatever, but I believe it's an actual mandate by the Lord Himself. You know, calling us to pray continually, interceding for our campus and drawing into intimacy with Him. What is 24-hour prayer? Um, I... I would describe it as um, just dialoguing with the Lord, um, just coming together with fellow students that um, have a relationship, have a walk with the Lord, and just um, are hungry for, for more of Him and are seeking His heart. What's really cool about it is just the presence of God just shows up so strongly as as people are like praying and worshiping every day, and, and you know, God uh, in, the, in the Bible, uh, in the Psalms, uh, Book of Psalms, God says that He inhabits the praises of His people, and uh, we've really seen that to be true here. Where um, literally the presence of God is, is here so strong, and, and people will, will walk in um, and uh, and who normally can't pray for more than um, 10 or 15 minutes, and then uh, two hours will pass by, and and they'll just ask themselves, like, how did that happen? And where did the time go? And, and that's a testimony we hear quite often. You know, there's, there's stories after stories of even people getting saved in here, supernaturally getting saved in the prayer house. I mean, you can point it to a man, you can point it to an organization, but in the end, it is Jesus Christ himself showing up in this place because we're asking him to. And uh, what's really neat is we have a lot of interactive prayer stations too. So when you, when you first come in, there's a, there's a cross with like post-it notes. Um, and, and you know, it'll say like, leave your sins at the cross, you know, and, and so people will, will, you know, like write down their sins and then put it on, on the nails on the cross. Um, and then, you know, sometimes we'll have like maps of like the campus or a, of the world and, and we'll use that to kind of fuel our prayers. And we'll have boards where people can write down like prayer requests or, or, um, or praise reports. Um, you know, we'll usually have like, uh, so people will bring, you know, um, we'll, we'll be playing guitar or piano. Um, you know, it's just really neat. It's very, a lot of interactive things like an art station. Um, and so it's, it's really just to kind of engage in the senses as we like talk to him, as we worship and pray. I just have a sense that God is doing something new at ASU and that the 24-7 prayer has been a key part of what God has been doing and changing the spiritual climate of this campus. And it's amazing because we've seen in these seasons of 24-hour prayer, you know, lives have been changed. People, people coming from out of, out, of, out of state, coming to ASU, the number one party school in, in the nation, and they, and they come here to ASU and they stumble across the prayer tent or the prayer house, and and they encounter Jesus. And when they encounter Jesus in this place, their lives are changed forever. God just started moving my life, and 
all the time. I didn't know what to do. Like I was just caught up in his God just caught me up in like his way and he just took me away. And I remember um, my friend Chad was in with 24 hour prayer. I remember talking to him late one night. He's like, you should come by. And so I started coming to uh, Dan for 24 hour prayer every night and just being with Chad, being with the Lord. And I just remember just like the spirit just moving, just God moving in my life and how I started to change, how I began to see different things in God that I'd never seen before. And I can't even explain it. Like now I'm just such a different person from what I was then. I really felt like God found me here in this prayer house. And just for several years, I've been crying out for God just for fellowship and for intimacy with Him. And He answered my prayer through hooking me up with the 24-hour prayer here at ASU. One night we were worshiping, and, uh, and a, a PhD student came in. He kind of looked in. He's from India, and he uh, was wondering, um, you know, is it okay if I come in? Uh, I'm Muslim, and there's about 15 of us worshiping. And we're like, yeah, come in. You know, we're just worshiping God. And so he comes in and ends up sitting there for the next two hours. And at the end of it, he gives his life to Jesus. One day suddenly, I I heard people saying singing music and Christmas. Uh, 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 songs, carols inside Danford Chapel at night and I just went inside on my instinct and I listened to the music and then uh, the people around the Danford Chapel told me that uh, I can come anytime during my prayer session and be mingled with them, share my thoughts, share my emotional fears so that they can pray for me. So that was really awesome but what's even more amazing than that is that a few days after that he begins coming into the prayer house uh, for about the next 20 to 25, 30 days, about two to four hours each night. And, um, and this, this guy who is Muslim just came to Christ um, in the prayer house two to four hours every night. And, um, and he ends up getting discipled in the prayer house as we're, as we're praying, as we're reading the word aloud, and, and, and as we're just uh, worshiping. Um, and, and by the end of it, he's just saying things that are just ministering to my heart. And, and just, he's, you know, he's saying things are just straight from God, and it's crazy. We're the second or third largest campus uh, in the United States, and so I believe that God cares about Arizona State University. And there is a wonderful band of students who have been coming together to pray through the night, through the day, uh, to be a witness. And here in the center of campus, the busiest part of the campus, uh, there's been an ongoing witness of students uh, and others who have just been praying and interceding, crying out to God that He would come and visit this land. So the primary reason that I come to the prayer house and I pray for one, two, three, four hours of time is, is, is not that I don't believe in like evangelism or I don't believe in mission. Like I believe these are crucial things and the church needs to be out there speaking the word, living the gospel, like loving people and stuff. But like it begins in the house of prayer. And I know that when I'm in here praying one, two, three, four hours at a time, that I am literally shaking the grounds here at ASU. And I'm shaking the foundations here. You know, the, the spiritual foundations at ASU, making it easy soil to till for the gospel to be planted. People are really um, needing God, really wanting God and desiring God in a way that, that um, we haven't seen yet to this extent. I feel like this is, this is the primary motivation this is, this, is, this is our heart in the prayer house. This is why young adults should come and, and, and pray here. Love, love this ministry. It's God's work and it's just doing amazing things to change people's lives and I am a testimony of that. It's just been awesome to see that and see how my life has changed. My heart has literally been changed. There's been a lot, a lot of great things that have been coming out of 24 hours. I encourage you to join us in prayer for ASU. You know, so his house will be called a house of prayer, and the zeal for his house consumes him. And we're just finding that, 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 that his passions begin to burn in our hearts. Just would love to see you come and join us. Come out. I'd love to pray alongside of you. So you're 
always welcome. A lot of people may think that prayer is boring. I just want to say that prayer is not boring.